everyone, it's Rocky. Thank you for joining my channel. So today is gonna be actually a quick one and it's gonna be a vlog, sort of sit down slash vlog, if you will. So um, just a heads up, I feel like, right now I'm just thinking in my head, I feel like the cadence and volume of these um, videos are gonna increase. I am now working from home. Um, all of this uh, COVID-19 stuff is kind of, uh, um, I guess, scaring people. <laughs> and um, in the attempt of, you know, all the businesses trying to flatten out the bell curve of all the infections that might happen, we're trying to reduce um, the amount of exposure that people have to each other. So people are staying home. They're not, you know, riding the buses and trains and sitting in confined offices very close to each other to just kind of reduce that. So I'm all for it. I'm all fine about precaution, but that means that I'm now working from home and minus the time for commute to and from work and all the extra things. I feel like sitting at home um, and having, you know, a lunch break as well as time before and after work on my hands, I might get bored and I might make more videos, but then I may not. I might just work more. So we'll see what happens, but for now I'm feeling like I just might do more videos. Anyway, with that being said, I wanna get started with a couple of things that I wanna get you caught up on and then um, just some stuff, you know, life stuff that I probably broached before and just never talked about again. So we're gonna talk about a little bit of that too. Very first things are one second. The very first things are some things that I just purchased. You have to excuse how I look right now. I'm in slouchy mode. <laughs> it's just such a weird concept for me to um, get up in the morning on a work day get fully dressed and not go anywhere. Normally, if I'm not going anywhere, I just kind of lounge around in my slouchy clothes, but with video conferencing and such like that, I can't like be in my PJs on camera in meetings. So I actually have to put some clothes on. So I'm, I'm kind of struggling between what's appropriate for work as well as what's comfy for home. So and this is what I came up with. <laughs> For today um, I think it'll be interesting as I do more of these videos while I'm working from home sharing with you what I decided to wear for the day or at least giving you know giving you a glimpse of what I'm wearing for the day but be interesting so the very first item I got is a pair of earrings as you'll notice I don't have any earrings on today which is anomalous for me I always wear earrings it's just a force of habit but these earrings are pretty cool I am um, right now obsessed with or starting to obsess obsessed with getting dupes and um, right now I got a pair of ear stud earrings that are a dupe of the uh, Hermes earrings and I will show you sort of a close-up or a cutaway of this because I'm not sure that this will show up on camera very well but these are like little they're studs first of all and they have the little Hermes H's but they're rounded as well but I'm going to go ahead and you know just pop a cutaway right here so you can kind of see um, what those look like up close but I adore these they're super cute they're very like you know small and unobtrusive the way that I like them so definitely going to put these on right now because I don't have any earrings on but I wanted to show you the earrings before I put them on you know I love to show you guys the stuff all fresh and brand new out of the package just because <laughs> and maybe maybe I'm thinking that's like hall etiquette or something I made it up but I feel like it's hall etiquette so the next item I want to show you is, oh my gosh, I'm, I can't stop doing this, but something that came up on my social media feed, which I thought was so cute and so unique, such a novel idea. It'll be definitely a conversation starter. Um, I have some of the things that I bought for myself, but I also purchased some things for some friends. I don't have them with, but I'll just talk you through those as well. So there's a place called Out of Print. And the concept you'll see here um, on the packaging is like all these books. The concept of it is that they have all of these wearable products that um, highlight classic books. And so I have so many favorites. Like I, when I first put everything in my cart, it was like over $300 and that was ridiculous. So I had to pare it down to the basics and the essentials. So I did that. So the very first thing in this, um, in this uh, package is a gift for a friend. It's a friend of mine. Um, we call each other grandma and grandpa because we got old people ways. We're very similar and we have twin birthdays. We're both Gemini and we have the same exact day and year birthday. So he's my twin 
And anyway, when we were in college, he would always, and after college, of course, he would always throw sort of these really big parties. And I used to call him the Great Gatsby because he had these lavish parties and everyone would come to them and all that good stuff. And he would um, later in life, you know, just kind of walk around with a cigar and just be the big MC <laughs> of the whole thing. So I called him the Great Gatsby. So this one is a pair of socks that say the Great Gatsby on them. And it's this whole, like just the, the feet and legs, because that's the whole mystery behind Great Gatsby and all that stuff. So I brought these for him and I hope that he loves them, but um, I thought these were amazing. The next one is one of my favorite books and I actually didn't watch this movie. This movie actually has been out since, I wanna say 1984 and obviously the book even earlier, um, The Color Purple. And I didn't see The Color Purple until I wanna say two, thousand and maybe seven i had read the book several times before because i loved it. i read i read the book and i read the whole there's actually a series to the alice walker books that are threaded together around the color purple and i read them all like in the you know early 2000s i want to say um but never watched a movie that had been out since 1984. so anyway i fell in love with it definitely one of my favorite books and um, I got this V-neck t-shirt that um, has the color purple on it. You'll see too, um, the tags, the, the clothing tags on here look like um, sort of the old school Dewey Decimal System book check in, check out little slip that you found in library books way, 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 way back in the day. But you know, I thought this, I think everything about this is so cute but um yeah so the very first one is the color purple the next one is such a cute one and i don't know why this one is such a favorite book of mine but it definitely is in my top five and um i'm just gonna quote <laughs> one line from the movie um it's actually in the book too i have the conch so let me speak <laughs> So anyway, um, that's a scene in the book where uh, one of the kids gets killed. Um, but this is from Lord of the Flies. It has the cover of the book here on there. Um, I absolutely love, love, love this book. Catcher in the Rye is another one of my favorites. Um, Their Eyes Are Watching God is another one of my favorites. I have so many favorites. Things Fall Apart, another one of my favorites. But they had so many, like I could have pretty much purchased everything that they had, but I had to reduce it to something that was a bit more affordable. I did also pick up another t-shirt for one of my coworkers. It's one of my favorite books as well, but it but I decided to give it to her instead, but it's The House on Mango Street by um, Sandra Cisneros. Um, I got her that t-shirt. She's of Mexican descent and, um, you know, Sandra Cisneros talks about her Mexican upbringing in Chicago. So I thought that uh, my coworker would really like that. And then um, as a free gift, they threw in a pair of, no, four pairs of socks that had Sesame Street characters on it. So I gave it to one of my other uh, coworkers, so you won't be able to see that. And then the last one is one of my favorites. Again, this is one of, one of my top, now let me, that's the top five. I've already named five books, so top 10. This is one of my top 10s. Um, and this is The Alchemist. Almost, this almost is like a, 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 a backdrop to how I govern my life, um, The Alchemist, because it always talks about how the universe conspires for you to succeed. So um, you have a, a destiny to do certain things, you, whether you believe it or not, and everything around you sort of conspires for you to um, get to that end point of your journey, whether it be like right away or down the line, you're in, eventually gonna end up um, where you were you know, destined to be. Um, and you know, all of us are destined for greatness. But anyway, so as you guys know, I've talked to you before about the fact that in Chicago, um, you have to pay a tax or a fee for uh, shopping bags. So now we're, we're switching our uh, culture here in Chicago where we're all carrying shopping bags and I, I've been getting some really cute ones um, similar to my t-shirts. They all kind of represent me in a way. Um, this is another one. So this one is an alchemist one. It says um, the alchemist on there and some you know imagery from the story in the book and it also repeats itself here on the back. So I am gonna be so cool 
walking around carrying around this alchemist um, alchemist bag. I am smitten with that. So that is the end of the things that I want to share with you in terms of purchases, but I want to just kind of take you into, um, you know, into something else. I gotta, I, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, but if I don't do this, then I won't fix this problem. So let's get right into it. So here is the issue, my closet. I think I have officially just, I, I haven't officially run out of, completely run out of room. I have space, as you can see, like on my shelves, I do have space and, you know, sort of in some of these racks, I have space, but um, I have run out of space for shoes. These are not even um, all of them, but I have sneakers sort of underneath different areas around here. I have obviously those shoes. I have, sh okay, we're going to talk about all of this in a minute but i have shoes underneath here shoes underneath here these are all like sort of my sneaker collection and what you can't see also is that i have shoes all underneath this um this rack here that i have in here and obviously um you know shoes in here um all my boots and things like that I have run out of space here on these shelves. You know, I got these boxes and everything, but as you can see, I've tucked shoes away in the empty spaces where I could. And I, I've run out of space, completely run out of space. And these are not even all of the boots. I have more sneakers here. So I gotta do something about the sneaker situation first and foremost. Secondly, um, I have been too lazy. So um, you saw in one of, in my vlog the other day that I went and bought this foldy thing. Have not folded my clothes. Um, the reason why these sit here is because one, I didn't feel like putting them away for weeks. But then two, the foldy thing that I had before was not the same size as everything that's already folded on these shelves. So they wouldn't be... I don't know they just wouldn't the the sizing wouldn't be right they wouldn't be the same which would drive me nuts I would it's, it's crazy I would rather have these sit here than for them to be the wrong way up here so anyway with that being said so I need to refold all of the things that I folded before not is this is this and I have a couple of stacks over here so I need to refold those things I have to fold all of this these are all clean clothes all clean clothes then I need to, as you can see, I have things hanging from here. And it's quite a bit if you look at how many hangers that is. I have all of this. I have all of these. I have, these are not usually here either. All of these, they all need a home. The other thing is that I've been assessing some of the clothes that um, I have in my wardrobe, kind of strategically placing them to see if I ever reach for them. So like, you'll see I have some maxi skirts that I've tucked back here. They don't fit with the fact that these are short skirts. I've got some maxi skirts back here and I'm trying to see if I ever reach for them and you know what purpose they serve in my wardrobe. Similarly to all of these other shoes. So I have to decide what I'm going to do with the things that I don't wear, if I'm going to sell them, donate them, or, you know, whatever the case may be. Then I have, which you can't even see because this mountain of clothing is so high, I have two bins back here of things that I have um, planned to sell or that are already on the market on like a Poshmark or, or something like that. So, or Mercari or something like that. So, um, I need to decide if I'm going to pull them off of the market and then just either donate them or sell them locally or something like that. So, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad way right now. So, I felt like if I didn't show you this, I would just kind of privately sit with the fact that I have a closet that has exploded. It has, it, we are at a pandemic state here. <laughs> We're in a state of emergency. Um, so we need to do something about this closet. So I'm going to start now that I have a little bit of time on my hands of, you know, like I said, not commuting back and forth from work and such, have a little time on my hands. I will probably each day tackle a little bit of this closet and see what we go through or see what I get through. And I'll share my progress with you as well to kind of keep me, hold me accountable we'll see what happens with that I mean you're not actually here so you can't like grab me by my collar and be like get that done so I may be lax on my progress but that's not my goal I don't want to be embarrassed I don't want to you know you know week over week month over month still be in the same situation so 
um, wish me luck, ask me questions. If you don't hear me say anything about this closet, ask me questions in the comments below. Like, hey girl, what you doing about that closet? We saw your closet, what you doing about it? So keep me honest and chase after me about what I'm doing on in this, in this closet. And um, mom, I know you're gonna be the first person to be like, what you doing with that closet? So <laughs> there you have it. All right, so that is it. I am gonna continue chill and chill mode here at home. Um, this is so bright in here. Um, nonetheless, we are done. Um, I just wanted, like I said, do a quick vlog and, and, and share with you what's been going on in life and such. And uh, we may be talking a little bit more often. So get used to this mug. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks.